Farouk's been at home after his ride yesterday, the Hunt Fun ride from Roxworth. We, he had um, his he had his um, dinner when he came back, but it was 20 minutes before you would eat your hard feed, wasn't it? Eh? Same with the water. He wouldn't touch the water for 20 minutes after he got back. It's just how he is. Um, for uh, Apollo, of course, would eat and drink straight away. But not you. No, he just doesn't. I think he's too hyper after his... Because uh, he really gets a buzz from running. I think it might be an adrenaline, <laughs> an adrenaline rush. I don't know. But he, he gets such a buzz from it. He just loves running. Any opportunity, don't you? Hey, any opportunity. So he's been uh, out in the paddock yesterday um, after noon, uh, probably two or three hours, and then he came in and he's had some more dinner last night, and then he's had his breakfast now. I've given him a brush off, just to get the dust off from the stable where you've been laying down, didn't I? And um, we're going now to the big field, and he's going to be with Apollo, and Bella, Bella's going to come up instead and she'll do her feet I'll do her feet and then I shall um, do a little bit of in hand work and then she'll go in the paddock and then she'll go back later on in the afternoon won't she yes. and tomorrow Apollo will come up come on I'm taking them up with Barra down as well, just to get rid of that. Good boy, because it's full, isn't it? The other one isn't full, but that's full, so might as well take that down. Yes, you can see them, can't you? Hello, Bella. Hello, Apollo. Hello, Apollo. Yes, he's coming, he's coming. That's a good boy. Wait, go back now, go back. Farouk has to get out. Good boy, Farouk, very good down the ramp then, into a closed gate. Having a look round to see what's changed, if anything. He says, Oh, I'll just have a look round here. Hello. Hello. Yep, there he goes. He's checking things out, isn't he, Apollo? See if anything's changed while he's been gone. Hmm. Oh, I meant to bring a a bucket to empty that trough, didn't I? Yes, I think I might have Farouk's bucket in there. Our wash bucket. We can use the wash bucket, can't we? Yes, we can. Right, OK. I think I'll just put them in the corral so I can best get on with that trough and get the barret out. They're all too near the gate. So they'll all go in if you go in, won't they? Come on then. Come on then. Come on. Come on, Apollo. Come on. In you go. Go on then. Good girl. Go on, Bella. Dave, he said he had 
Oh no, it's going to roll in that mucky bit, look. Oh. Hmm. You'll find the right spot in a minute. Just the right degree of muddiness. Oh, now he has to dig a bit up because it's not quite muddy enough. Hello. Oh well, maybe not. Anyway, I was going to say, Steve has strimmed, commode that bit of ground that uh, tends to be quite long. They tend to do their droppings in the middle there, and uh, then it's their wee spot as well. So they tend not to eat there, so that tends to get a bit long. And Steve's very kindly. Oh, there he goes, rolling in the mud. Oh no, not quite so muddy. Oh, slightly less muddy than the other place. But uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely a muddy Farouk now. Now oh, he's going to have another go. Because he hasn't done the other side. He normally rolls right over, but he hasn't been doing recently. Oh, he's going the other side now. Oh yes, let me just get... Oh yeah. Huh. Yep, so equally muddy. We don't want to be biased at all, do we? <laughs> we don't want to be biased. <laughs> Equal sides, hey. Yeah, so that's uh, that's oh, this is this rubby, rubby and snout on his bottom. <laughs> I wouldn't try that, Bella, because he might like to do that to you, but he won't tolerate you doing it. So um, yeah, so that's looking good there. We like to keep it as nice as we can. Takes a little bit of effort, but if you keep on top of it, it's not uh, it's not so bad. When it gets out of hand as it does when it's growing in the spring, of course, we have to have it cut. But now we've found this guy that can do the mulching, our new agricultural contractor does mulching, and it's marvellous. We should have known that before. Right, so I'll just empty the muck barrel, and then I'm going to empty that water trough to get it filled and fresh. nine degrees today but sunny and no wind so it's not bad it's not bad day at all it's a bit squelchy there not too bad though a few treats for Bella and the boys. Oh, I'll just put it on that. Right. Let's see if I can get that barra turned around. Hold on to it because it goes like stink down this ramp. Oof. Now to get Bella in first. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm not going to be able to move that on my own. So I've just bucketed it out with my bucket. I'll just empty that. It won't be as good as um, bringing it through and giving it a scrub out, but it'll be good enough. As you can see, it's a bit green. I don't like to see it green. I'm going to get it. I have to go around the other side as well. It's got a little rise in the middle, so I have to do it from both sides. It's easier just with this tool because you can tip it up, but I can't tip it up by myself. There we go. That's that side. Hello, 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 folk. <laughs> you want to go and see your buddies over there, don't you? That's why he's milling around at that gate. Yes, it's nothing to eat, I'm afraid, Bella. <laughs> That's all I can do, really. I'll yeah, put some fresh in. Let's have a little look, see how bad it is. Not too bad. Oh, no droppings. One droppings. Oh, yes, that frightened you, didn't it? <sighs> yep. Yeah. So, she's uh, starting to do your droppings out here, aren't you? That's a good girl. Yes. Just one droppings in the in your field shelter. Yes. No, no, that's, no. <laughs> Slobbered on my face. Oh, yeah. Slobbered on my face. Hello, Polo. Hello, mate. Good boy, aren't you? Looking good. Looks like a Farouk patch there. You can't wait to get out in that grass and see the others. Can you? some treaties in that bucket, haven't you? Hey? Yeah, we can't them yet because I have to catch Bella. I have to catch Bella, yeah. And then you can have some treaties once she's in the box. Hmm. Don't know what's up with him. A bit frightened of the water, I think, coming in. She's alright though. Look at her. Not, not, uh, not a spookles horse, is she? She's like you. You're not a spookles, are you? You're not a spookles for ookles. And neither is Bella, which is great. Easier to train a non-spooky horse. Oh. If you watch Bella, you'll see her raising her front foot. Not aggressively, uh, but it could be used aggressively. Apollo's always used his front legs in a similar way to Bella.
I hope you'll join us in part two tomorrow. TTFN.